All right, sports fans, part two for the ZL1 Camaro versus the uh, Hellcat Challenger. And uh, as you've just seen for yourself, uh, and it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to figure it out, more horsepower and less weight beats lots of horsepower and more weight. And, uh, but hey, look, the, the Hellcat is certainly no slouch. Jerry, come on in here. The, the, so from an even, when we ran even, the ZL1 was what? Two to three car lengths ahead at the end when we're and we're in fourth, we're probably 130, 135 ish. Two hundred, uh, two and a half car lengths. Okay, yeah. okay. And then we did a couple, a couple of tries again from second gear. I gave you, I think it was right at a car, maybe three quarters of a car, and the hit. And I went around you was still a car, car and a half at yeah. the end. Yeah, about a car. Yeah. So again, hey, look. I mean, the Hellcat is a is a freaking beast. Uh, you know, again, now we've got the manual versus manual, so there's no, you know, misunderstanding as far as, you know, last time we had the automatic Hellcat, which walked the, the manual Z1 pretty well. So, again, uh, 750 horsepower, a little more power than the Hellcat, a little less weight. Uh, but the cool thing about the 750 package that we do on the Z01s, that freaking torque is crazy. And I yeah. think that's what, as long as we got traction and we were hooking up in second gear, I never turned off the traction control. You didn't turn it off. I was hooked up, so it's kind of warm today, so the track's biting pretty good. Man, just that initial torque hit. Yeah, that's know? where you really drove around me. Once that torque came in, you drove around me. I mean, I was hooked up. I was yeah. in it all the way. So what would part three be? Should we do 850? Uh, 850 Hellcat versus 750 uh, ZL1? Yeah, I would say so. I yeah. think uh, that would be a, a lot more fair of a race. I think it would get too. Get some more mods on this and get for that sure. to sure. What do you think about the new, they talk about, there's just, you know, all this uh, rumor about the Demon, you know, what do you think about the... If it's going to be all-wheel drive, it's going to be a monster. It's going to be a monster. But we'll sure. be able to make it faster than it yeah. is. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of guys out there with Corvettes, Z06s, Hellcats that don't have Demons are going to want to you know, they don't want to get a beat down by the demon, so uh, I think that we'll have a few answers for that. And uh, you know, there's got to be a way to to put the demon in its place. So, uh, guys at Dodge and Chrysler, thanks for building the the, the, the badass stuff because it gives everybody else a reason to want to play catch up and stay ahead. So, uh, anyway, that's what we do. We got about 60 cars in the shop right now that with customers that want to stay ahead of the competition. If we can help you, let us know. Thanks for tuning in.